you know, Jim Miller could switch to the back, from the back rather, to what's called a spider web position, where, you know, he could isolate an arm and perhaps throw his leg up and switch stand and switch his spot, so holding onto the back trying to rear naked to go into an arm bar. That body triangle so good. Yeah, you know, he just feels real confident holding his position. He's again getting palm to palm, but he's across the jaw now. And it sucks, it hurts like hell, but he can hang in there and hope the guy gets tired squeezing your face. But he can also break your jaw if you get in the right spot. He's been active in there. But Jim Miller can somehow kind of switch his position and get it so that he is deep with the back. Uh, he gets Kamal Shell almost flattened out. Into a little break, you know, he's much better shot. Break! Guys, no, this is a pain move. It's very tough to get out. Yeah. Well, the body train will be much more effective if he can get Shalom's belly down. Because then he can arch his hips and put a tremendous amount of pressure on his back and his work. <laughs> Ten seconds for Shalaroos to survive this back position here in round two. Nicely done from all Shalaroos. Now let's take a look at his takedown to a beautiful transition to the back. Look at this. Even in slow mo, look how fast this is. Watch what he did there. Whoop. On the back. Immediately. Rolled him over so that he could open up that what? right hand side for the right hook. Meaning his right leg that controls the body. And spends the majority of that round on his back. And Joe, this entire time between rounds two and three, Jim Miller never took the school at all. 